Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all having a fantastic evening or whatever time it is in your part of the world. Uh, tonight I'm going to be doing a review. This is a drama from Denmark. Danish language English subtitles released in the year 1999, directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, who was responsible for the Pusher trilogy, Valhalla Rising and more recently Drive. So um, this movie was the follow-up to his original uh, Pusher and this is called Bleeder. <clears throat> and the story to Bleeder is as follows. Nicholas Winding Refn's follow-up to Pusher follows the love between Leo and girlfriend Louise, which appears sealed when Louise finds she is expecting a baby. Louise's pregnancy triggers Leo's violent self-loathing and marks the beginning of the end of their relationship. After a savage beating at the hands of Leo, Louise loses her baby, forcing her brother to exact dire revenge. Bleeder is a hard-hitting and deeply moving human tragedy. So this is a character drama that centres around five people. We've got Leo, his girlfriend Louise, and Louise's brother Louis. And then you've got Lenny, who is Leo's friend, and Lenny's love interest, Leah. So Leo is the main character. He's a very self-loathing individual. He's got no self-respect. Uh, he has a, a very bad job, a very bad apartment, and life really doesn't seem to be going anywhere, anywhere for him. So he's getting frustrated. That frustration is further intensified when he realizes that his girlfriend, Louise, is pregnant. So he's going to be a father, and this really freaks him out. So his best coping mechanism is violence and he begins hitting Louise so there's a lot of domestic violence and the film really does center on domestic violence so um, Leo is abusing Louise and Louise's brother Louis who is a criminal he's a psycho he starts to catch on to this and this is where he becomes involved and the situation just escalates for the worst then Lenny who is Leo's uh, friend he is the complete opposite of Leo. He is very mild-mannered, but he has a lot of social problems. He is very reclusive. He's a loner, and he lives life by loneliness, and he basically lives for films. Films are his only hobby, and it's the only thing he can talk about. So a lot of people pick on him for that, but he doesn't seem to care. He lives, uh, lives a routine that is very comfortable for him. But that uh, comfort zone that he has been living in is tested, when he starts to develop some feelings for Leah, who works at a butcher shop, and she comes into the video store one day, and immediately uh, Lenny starts to have a little bit of feeling towards her. So he is trying to battle his inner demons to get um, a date with this woman. Meanwhile, Leo is trying to solve his life. So that's basically a synopsis. If you want to know how these tales unfold, I will tell you that they do ultimately, um, uh, they ultimately um, end up in a very tragic circumstance. So if you want to know more, please go out there and check out this film for yourself. Now my thoughts on this movie. If you're a Nicholas Winding Refn fan, you'll get a lot out of this one. If you're just starting for Nicholas Winding Refn, I would say this is probably a good area to start in once again. All of his films have his trademark. Um, his trademark is very good character development, brilliant writing, brilliant visuals, and brilliant soundtrack. And all those things are ticked off in this film. This movie is a lot different to The Pusher, so don't let that mislead you, the fact that this is a follow-up to The Pusher. It is not a sequel. It has nothing to do with it. Although the mood and the characters and the actual actors playing the characters are very similar to The Pusher, but it is no way a gangster film. So this being his follow-up to The Pusher, the original Pusher, I was really, really keen to see what I, um, he could produce because his other films have been brilliant, and this one is no different. Although I will say that the movie does have problems, but fortunately the good outweighs the negatives. Now the good thing about this movie is that in typical Nicholas Winding reference fashion, it is very realistic. It is a movie about taking responsibility and vulnerable individuals through thrust into very intense situations and how we cope with them. Some people thrive and some people self-destruct. And that movie really does, it it does, it kind of shows you how different people react to certain things. Now you've got Leo, played by Kim Bodnia. Now I'm not too sold on Kim Bodnia as an actor. He seems to be playing all the same characters in each of his movies. But in this movie, he does the job well. He plays a prick. Uh, but he does have likable quality, and you can tell that this guy is scared. And, he, you know, if each person is pushed to a certain limit, then they lash out in violence. I'm not condoning that, but I can understand why he came about this. The movie gave a realistic depiction of domestic violence, and he's not so much a monster, but he has given up and he is um, given into his demons. Therefore, it creates a monster in itself. So the relationship between Leo and Louise was fascinating. I thought Louise was the really strong one, and it was really heartbreaking to see her journey. She was really looking forward to having a baby with Leo, but Leo just wasn't sharing the same enthusiasm. And her 
uh, mental uh, deterioration began to go down rapidly as well. And you could see that she was trying so hard to make this work, but Leo's um, self-destruction was just too hard to handle. So Louise goes from being a very strong individual. She won't leave Leo, even though Leo's hit her a few times. She won't leave because she loves him, which is the case with a lot of battered women. They won't leave their loved ones because there's something about them they just can't leave. So this is really the same sort of story and you know a very sad domestic violence. And then you've got Louise's brother, Louis, who's a complete complete maniac and you know the situation is going to go from bad to worse when he is introduced so that's just a ticking time bomb then you've got Lenny played by Mads Mikkelsen now this is where I have a problem with the film Mads Mikkelsen's character was brilliantly performed Mads Mikkelsen is not only one of the best directors um, best actors in Denmark he's one of the best actors in the world and he demonstrates why that is in this movie he plays a very different character than what we're used to and I thought he was so so likable, but yet so realistic. He had problems, but he was trying so hard to do uh, the right thing. And the relationship that blossoms with Leah is really uplifting, and I thought that was really well done. And it's a very contrast um, contrasting to Leo, who's self-destructing. So on one side you've got someone who was going downhill, on the other side you're going uh, another person's going uphill. So it keeps you in two minds, and it keeps you with two different emotions. So that part I thought was very interesting, but ultimately it's what brought the film down. I will say that although it is a very good movie, it should have been a masterpiece, and I actually felt that this movie should have been in two parts. One one part being Leo's life and one part being Lenny's life because both characters were very different and they were just as interesting as one another but the fact that it alternates between one and then the other I thought that it kind of ruined the rhythm and it kind of it avoided the opportunity to go into real death with these characters it should have been an intense character study and yes it is an intense movie but it could have been a hell of a lot more intense if the focus was on just one person so this is a classic case of really having to make two movies instead of trying to fit everything into one because ultimately that is what prevents it from being a masterpiece now everything from Nicholas Winding Ref and you've got the colors of the pusher where it's a really dirty atmosphere it's in the same sort of area of Copenhagen a very run down and poor area so each and every character is very rich in depth but very dirty because you know this is a, a no money sort of situation each character is faced with a hopeless sort of outlook and um, yeah that really intensifies so it makes it an extremely depressing film and it's a very hard film to watch the scenes of domestic violence are very intense nothing is overdone it's all very realistic all very high impact so if you're disturbed by uh, men hitting women then this is definitely not for you it's not a gory film it doesn't overdo anything it's not excessive so I thought it was a brilliant sort of mix then you've got the soundtrack which is typical N Nicholas Winding Refn absolutely mind-blowing I think he is one of the best directors as far as adding soundtracks are concerned because he really captures the mood brilliantly and this all adds up to an unforgettable climax and it will just leave you you know shocked and it will leave you absolutely depressed so be very careful if you're not in a good mood watching this movie this will just make your mood even more down because it's just one of those movies that has a very very bleak outlook and it basically tells you that not every story ends happily so you know all in all you know apart from its negatives i am still going to give this four stars i think it's absolutely fantastic if you're a nicholas winding ref and fan you definitely have to check this one out because it's something a little bit different very very subtle uh, some people say it doesn't have a point, which I can understand, but I actually feel it is a real depiction of life and responsibility and how some people thrive and some people crumble. So I thought it was done very well, but yeah, just a little bit of a um, tinker with it. I thought you know, a little bit of a polish up here and there would have made a masterpiece, but having said that, it's still definitely worth it, especially if you're a Nicholas Winding Refn fan. So yeah, that is uh, the Danish film Bleeder, and I am giving it four stars. It is coming recommended. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.